Have you ever had amazing momentum towards something, whether it was a goal or a dream or your business or an idea or a relationship, whatever it was, and then you completely sabotaged it, like completely sabotaged it, and you don't know why? And you're trying to figure out why did I do that or why did my momentum stop or why did all my success just come crashing down or why did I do that? What did I do in that relationship that just caused it to go backwards? Here's the thing that no one talks about and so few people understand, but it is so critical, is that we think if we build a lot of self-confidence and we do all the things that we're just gonna keep going in the momentum we build. But the truth is that you don't soar to the level of your hopes and dreams, whether it's in relationships or in your goals, in your business or your career um, or your ideas or any of it, right? We don't soar to the level of our hopes and dreams, we actually stay stuck at the level of our self-worth or our identity. And here's what happens is when you, you know, want like a really, really healthy relationship with someone else, whether it's a romantic relationship, a partnership in business, a friendship, you know, uh, any type of relationship. You want just a really healthy one. You have big goals and dreams and you, and you have it in your vision board and you've made a list of everything you want. And then you get it, but you but it doesn't work. You sabotage it and you don't know why. It's because deep down inside, you don't believe you're worthy of that. This is the number one reason why we sabotage things and why things don't happen for us. Or by the way, you never go for it at all, right? Maybe you put these big goals and dreams on the vision board for your relationships or your friendships as an adult or whatever it might be, right? And then you're like, why haven't I made an effort to go out there and make new friends? Why haven't I, you know, swiped a whole bunch of times on the dating app? Why haven't I told that person I want to be more than just friends? It's because deep down inside, when we do not believe we're worthy of something, one of a few things will happen. Either we'll never go for it, we'll stay stuck, right? Or we go for it and then we sabotage it along the way. We put that really awesome person in the friend zone and we know they're amazing and we don't know why we're not attracted to them, right? Because we're attracted to what we believe we're worthy of. So when you work hard to build your self-worth, it changes everything because it's your identity, right? Your identity. You will not rise to the level of your hopes and dreams. You will literally fall to the level of your self-worth or your identity. It is the one thing that changes everything. And here is the biggest mistake so many people make is they think, okay, I just need to build more confidence. I just need to build more skills, more attributes, more. I just need to fit into my favorite genes. I just need to, you know, start taking better care of myself or, you know, doing all these things. And then, then I'll find that relationship or then I'll know enough to have my business succeed. And then so many people spend their whole lives striving for those things, right? Which these things are important. Building self-confidence, which comes from how you assess your skills and abilities, all the things happening around you, how you feel you stack up to others, your willingness to try and go for it. All those things are so important. But you can build all the self-confidence in the world, have all the skills, the abilities, the talent, the know-how. But if deep down inside your identity doesn't believe that you are worthy. If deep down inside your identity isn't built on rock solid self-worth, then you can have all these things and it doesn't it doesn't impact if you'll actually get the thing you want. Like like you can have all of these, you know, beautiful things that build self-confidence, but you will still plateau at the level of your self-worth and at what you believe you're worthy of, right? What you believe you deserve and, and, and who your identity is. So this is the number one reason people sabotage things. It's the number one reason why we stay stuck. And so many people keep trying to solve it by just doing things that build more confidence but don't build self-worth. Building your self-worth will be the number one thing that will help you get unstuck or help you stop sabotaging things whether they're in your business, whether it's taking your business to the next level in your career ambitions. Maybe you are an artist and you 
love to paint or 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 do poetry or or you know any of the expression and offerings inside of you that you just have this longing to share with the world but you don't know why you're not could be in that area right it could be in your relationships and friendships like like we talked about a second ago any of the areas of life like the number one way to get unstuck and the number one way to not sabotage them, to stop sabotaging stuff, is to build self-worth. That's it. Because when you build this knowing that who you are is enough and you are worthy of love and belonging exactly as you are, then what you know is no matter what happens when you put your offerings out in the world or, 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 or what, you believe you're worthy already. And that doesn't take away your ambition. It just gives you a rock solid resiliency, right? A rock solid identity to just kind of be like so resilient going after those things and also to be fulfilled when you get them, to not sabotage them. Because when your self-worth is really, really strong, that's when you believe you're worthy of it. So a couple things. In worthy, um, I go deep into how to do this. Like it is a master class on how to do this um, because it's so, so, so important. And also, um, uh, we're going to go really, really uh, deep into how to do this in the launch team. So if you're seeing this video before February 20th of 2024 and uh, you go to worthybook.com, you can join me in that. It's completely free um, whenever you pre-order the book. And then right now, if you want to dive into something right now that's free, um, I put together a five-step action plan uh, on how to boost confidence and belief in yourself, which is a really, really important step. Uh, and so you can grab that for free at worthybook.com slash five tips, the number five and tips. You can grab that free now. But I just want you to think this through because this is a really big thing. Awareness is the most important first step. If you are someone who, and this was me most of my life, by the way. I remember I was a struggling waitress long before I launched a business in my living room and built it to a billion dollar company. Long before that, I remember, you know, I was a struggling waitress. I had big kind of like goals and dreams, but I didn't believe I was worthy of them. So I stayed stuck, right? And then I would go after things and sometimes sabotage them. So if this is you, number one, just being aware of it is huge. Just being aware of like, huh, okay, I think maybe I need to build my strong self-worth because here's what I know for sure. We can do all the things. We can accomplish all the things. We can have the biggest awards on our wall. We can have the biggest bank account or you know, hit our fitness goals or whatever it might be. But if we don't believe we're enough, we will always feel like something's missing and we will often stay stuck and often sabotage things. Building self-worth is everything. So awareness of that is key. Uh, and the beautiful thing is you are fully worthy exactly as you are. It's not something you have to earn. It's not something you have to build. It's not something anyone can take away from you. But unlearning all those lies that tell you you're not and re-embracing those truths that you are innately worthy and building that self-worth, it is the one thing that will change everything in every area of your life.